Hello everybody and welcome to Jeff the Pharmacist. Uh, it is October 31st, so you know what that means. Happy Halloween. Also with the uh, Halloween festivities, the uh, the flu is on the, on the way and um, so we're not really in peak flu season yet. Uh, flu season kind of peaks in um, January and February. Um, and so today I want to talk about a new drug that's come out to treat flu. Um, it's not available yet, but it has been approved by the FDA and it will be out soon. And it's called Zofluza. So before we really only had Tamiflu to treat the flu, and um, Zofluza is kind of the newest thing to come out, and it's pretty interesting. It works differently. It works differently than um, Tamiflu. They both act on the flu virus. Um, Zofluza, you'll have to forgive me, Zofluza works on the endonucleic activity of the polymerase protein, and Tamiflu works on viral neuramidase. So they have different mechanisms of action, different targets that they attack to help alleviate the flu and people that have already um, already gotten it. So just like Tamiflu, people take it um, within 48, 48 hours of experiencing symptoms. And what's different than Tamiflu is it's only one dose. So uh, that's very nice. Um, there's not a lot of things out there. You can just take one dose and you're done with the course of treatment. Uh, so um, that is the case with Zofluza. Tamiflu is a five-day treatment. Um, so that, that creates opportunities for people to miss doses and not get the full benefit of treatment. So Zofluza is just one dose and we you know, we can all um, we can all handle that. Uh, we all forget to take medicine at times, and but uh, one pill should be pretty easy. So Zofluza um, looks to reduce symptoms by about a day um, uh, compared to placebo, which was 78 hours. If you look at it percentage-wise, it's over a 30% um, reduction in um, and the amount of time that some, someone will have flu symptoms. So the symptoms that they looked at were cough, sore throat, nasal congestion, headache, feverishness, um, myalgia or um, muscle pains, and fatigue. And people were considered to be have their people were considered to have their flu symptoms allevi alleviated if they said that they didn't have those symptoms or that they were mild. So I find this kind of interesting. I think it'll probably be the next big thing to come out. I'm personally wondering if uh, doctors will be prescribing them together. Um, I didn't see any specific contraindication or any specific interaction between the two drugs. So I'm wondering if people, uh, if doctors will be um, prescribing both, if, if insurance companies would do that, or if that's strictly off limits. They weren't um, tested together. Uh, they were looked at head to head. So compared to Zofluza, Tamiflu was equally as effective down to the hour. So for each, people treated with each drug, um, they saw it took about 54 hours for them to have symptom alleviation before they, they were feeling better and they said that they were either um, not experiencing any of the uh, symptoms or that they were mild. So it'll be a bit expensive if you have to pay out of pocket. It'll, I don't know the exact price, but it'll be between $150 and $200. Um, Tamiflu is pretty pricey as well. I believe insurance would probably cover Zofluza because it's only one of two options, especially for people that um, can't take Tamiflu for for any reason. It looks to interact with um, certain. Uh, it looks that it, it looks like it interacts with with certain minerals: um, calcium, aluminum, magnesium, and iron. So that could be an issue with someone who takes supplements, or if they're on um, if they take Toms for uh, for for acid reflux, or they take any of those over the counter. Um, products for acid reflux. Now it's good to note um, anytime you're talking about flu treatment that it's really great to just try to prevent it by getting the flu shot. Uh, I know a lot of people don't believe in the flu shot but it does help. It is proven to be um, effective. 
Obviously, it's not 100% effective, and I think a good year for the flu shot is like 50% effective, so a lot of people uh, are suspicious of the flu shot, but I think it protects, it certainly protects you, and it protects people who might be more vulnerable in the population, like the elderly or the very young. And in, you know, in today's society where you're basically pushed to go into work whether you feel sick or not, you know, it's important to try to prevent illness so you don't spread it to other people. Obviously you should, if you can, call out sick when you are experiencing the flu. Though I know some of us feel very, um, feel very reluctant to call out sick. So I think the bottom line is that the two products are, are about equally effective. Uh, Zofluza is um, probably the better product just because it's one dose and you don't have to take it over five days. And that could change the equation depending on how much you have to pay for it. Um, if it was $100 versus 20 bucks for Tamiflu, I might just take Tamiflu, but that's really a, you know, a personal decision. So I hope you guys found this interesting. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. It would be awesome to have you as a subscriber. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks a lot.